became involved with Denzel Riddle when he played it. Denzel Riddle had a severe hand strain at the beginning of the week. He would practice all week. And, you know, three or four treatments a day, and the kid was able to play it. In. And, um, you know, without Denzel, you know, the lack of guards, I don't know, you know. And he was, you know, he, he did. He had almost, he had almost the triple double in Omaha. 11 points, 10 rebounds, 8 turnovers. But he got a lot of those turnovers late and he was tired. He had to practice all week. Um, but uh, just really happy for the guys that um, that uh, they were able to um, taste this victory after starting out you know, on the road and getting some losses. And we were in every game, it just seemed we couldn't sustain it. And to sustain it and learn how to win, uh, but I'm really happy for the guys. For the first four games, you, you said that you guys had a tendency to run out of gas today. Yeah. Not the case. Did it finish strong? Well, well, one, I mean, Gak got 12 minutes, Minkowski got 10, and that freed up, you know, Abraham to give them. You know, I know they got in foul trouble, but when they did come in, they at least uplifted or maintained the play. We've had some big spikes in our play when we go to stops. I thought Christian Thomas, John Gak, and John Minkowski all made plays, all contributed when they were in there. I don't think, uh, and that's what we need. This team needs everybody bringing what they can bring. They can bring rebounding. Um, we've really identified what the is role. You're a screener, you're a defender, you're a ball chain. Don't, we're not looking for you to score 25 points. If you fall into a tip, great. And that's what he's been doing. We've been working on this free throw. John's really accepted his role. Um, so I think that's really, you know, obviously, I don't want to play Joe Chris for 38 minutes, but that kid is so tough as a coach. He was an unbelievable leader down the stretch. I mean, hopefully when he was saying to the bench how to you know, different things to the team. Jo I mean, Joe Christman was, was not a freshman today. In crunch time, he made some big plays. But he also was talking and leading on the floor. And that's, you know, some people might not notice that. But as a head coach, he was just dynamic as a leader as a freshman today. It feels great. I, 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 I would be remiss if I didn't absolutely thank the people at Loyola for committing to this, these, these seniors, for sure, of getting this done for a day. I mean, not many schools would have gone to a double shift to get it in time for November 26, and Loyola did. And I, I mean, it really means a lot to be in here. Um, and I hope uh, our efforts to continue to get better, um, to make this an unbelievable atmosphere. But I'm happy, I'm, it, for me, it's more of, I'm just happy for the guys that they taste it, because we've really worked hard to just limit it to get a taste of victory for these guys. Well, there's that kind of power of the game, starting off quickly, then the beach race again, just because you're still 